It's BBC Radio Shropshire Thursday morning on breakfast coming up to 8 o'clock. On the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker, play BBC Radio Shropshire. And on your radio. The sound of where we live is BBC Radio Shropshire. Good morning, it's The Breakfast Show, Thursday morning. Now, you may have heard that Telford has hosted the English Pickleball Open over the last seven days at the Telford International Centre. BBC Radio Shropshire's Paul Shuttleworth went along to find out how the event has gone. I'm Michael De Groot, I'm from Worcestershire. I'm the West Midlands Regional Director for Pickleball England. This is quite an event at Telford International Centre. We've got the biggest tournament outside of the USA that's been taking place over the last seven days. We've had around 2,000 people playing in tournament. Why Shropshire? Well, it's the Telford International Centre here. It's a great space for us. As you can see, it's really roomy and uh, they do a great job for us. It's quite bizarre to realise how many courts you've managed to squish into this place. Yeah, it's been quite a job and a lot of measuring that we had to do because we have to make sure there's enough runoff as well for the players. We've been able to squeeze 40 courts in there, that's 4-0. And you've been playing for seven days? Yeah, absolutely seven days because we had so many competitors. We couldn't do it over like a short weekend. We had to extend it so we could get all the age groups in and we started seven and we end up at 70. How did pickleball come about? Because it seems to be a relatively new sport, or has it been around for ages and more people starting to realise about it? You wouldn't believe when I said it was invented in 1965. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> in the USA. Right. And it's steadily grown in the USA over the years. And then since the pandemic, more and more people wanted to play pickleball outside in the fresh air and that's when it's really exploded. And this event's testament, isn't it? Because last year was your first event, about a thousand players, right? That's right, yeah, just over a thousand. And as we stand here today, how many people have played by the end of this week? 2,000. Wow, does that mean next year's 4,000? Well, we, that means we'll probably need to go on for 14 days, <laughs> but we'll see how many people will want to play next year. What is it about this sport that appeals to such a wide range of person. I was going to use the term athlete, but actually there's all sorts of people playing, right? Yeah, you don't have to be an athlete. You don't even need to have a racket sports background. You can pick up this game in literally a couple of hours and learn how to play it. Because we're playing with a relatively light, what we call paddle. It's got an inner kind of polypropylene plastic core, honeycomb core, makes it nice and lightweight. It's got a surface of glass fibre or carbon fibre. And then the ball is plastic with holes in it, so it's not a heavy ball either. So it's really easy on the joints, easy on your shoulders, easy on your back. It's a fun game. And the court is small as well. And have you had many people come and watch? Because I know lots of people have participated, but have you had many spectators? Loads of spectators. Not only existing pickleball players who go, oh, I'm not sure if I want to play in a tournament. We even have a security card called Dave. I'll mention him. He said last year he fancied it. This year he's definitely going to take it up and he wants to play next year in the tournament. Fantastic. Now, I've got a couple of players with me. What's your name? Anne Jones. And where are you from? I'm from Clavelly in Shropshire. And how did you get into pickleball? Um, my friend Carla actually introduced me. She'd been playing for about a year. I tagged along and started and, um, on the Pickleball England website. Locations of all the local clubs. It's brilliant and since then we've we are a pickleball family. How have you got on this year? Well, it's our first tournament, well, my first tournament. Yeah. We played our first match. It was a bit tentative, but we got through it, and every match we got better and better. And then yesterday we won some matches with our, my mixed partner. Brilliant. Yeah, it was well brilliant done. fun. And it, all of it was enjoyable. What I'm loving is the beaming <laughs> smile on your face as you tell me about it. That's Anne Jones, a pickleball player, and Michael de Groot, West Midlands Regional Director for England Pickleball, speaking to BBC Radio Shropshire's Paul Shuttleworth. It's been very, very uh, fascinating to watch because you can see all the results coming in online on the uh, English Pickleball Open website, and you can see what's been happening. I've had a vested interest because my auntie and uncle have been playing in the tournament. Um, so good morning to my, uh, my auntie Vanessa, my uncle Richard, um, Richard and Vanessa Ingham, 
who played in the mixed doubles. They also played in like the singles competitions as well. And my uncle Richard, in the 70 plus category, even though he looks about 50, and I think they need to check his passport or something, um, he's he's uh, sickeningly young looking uh, for his age. He got a bronze medal at the English Pickleball Open. I'm very proud of him. It's it's uh, I I was watching his results coming in online. I couldn't get to go and watch because it was on during he was playing like during the breakfast shows. Otherwise, I would have gone and. And cheered him on, but he got a bronze medal, which is uh, it's quite wonderful. So when he's there trying to win next year, I, I shall have to make sure I am there uh, to witness it. In the meantime, two thousand pickleball players descended on Telford International Centre to take part in the biggest pickleball tournament outside of the United States of America. They played for the last seven days. BBC Radio Shropshire's Paul Shuttleworth went along. Now, I'm just looking at him now. Paul, did you go with a racket? A paddle, I should say? Shorts on, all that? You did have a go, but he he, he was... I, I, you wouldn't want to show anyone up. I appreciate that. Given your skills with a ice hockey puck, I imagine you'd be quite good at pickleball as well. He's he's pulling he's pulling a face to say, yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, Paul went, <laughs> went along to find out what the rules of the game are and to also meet a few of the players who've been featuring. I'm Sue Tolly. Where do you play, Sue? I play at BBC UK2 in Shrewsbury. What first drew you to pickleball? I just had a bit of time on my hands and I wanted a new challenge and Fiona organised a taster session at my local sports centre. So I just went along and thought, what's this about? And I've been hooked ever since. What was it about the game that hooked you rather than anything else? It's simple to play, fairly easy to follow the rules once you know them. Lots of really good people that help you. It gets you out of the house, it's good exercise. What else do you need? Well, I would imagine you need a pickleball racket or bat. <laughs> a paddle. When you look at paddles and the equipment, is it quite, I suppose like most sports, it can start really cheap and then get really expensive. Is, is that similar with pickleball paraphernalia? I don't think it's particularly expensive and lots of the clubs will supply you with equipment so you can get started without having to really buy anything in the first place. And then when you get used to it and you enjoy playing, then you can buy a paddle which suits you. I'm I'm going to bring you back in, Michael, because as a, a man of a certain age, when we get into new things, we want all the best gear we can possibly have that will make us as good as possible. So we spend a fortune on golf clubs and realise we're rubbish at golf. Is there a similar thing here? Have you got the -the state-of-the-art pickleball paddle? Yeah, um, everybody thinks that the paddle will improve their game. It doesn't. (laughs) (laughs) It's the person holding it, right? So paddles start at about 25 quid or so, but it can literally go up to 260 pounds. Okay. Yeah. Is that the cost of yours? 250. (laughs) (laughs) When you look back at the last week and the amount of people that have participated and watched, how does it feel to be part of an event like this? It's, it's amazing. It's a great feeling. Yesterday I was playing some final matches and we had a whole crew around the court cheering us on, clapping. It was like being in Wimbledon. What you're telling me is Hollingswood is the Wimbledon of pickleball. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, my name's Fiona Edwards. People listening to this, they've got an idea from what we've heard. The court is a similar dimensions to maybe a badminton court with a standard net a little bit lower than that of a tennis net. The court's laid out in similar markings to badminton. Give me a potted rules of the game. You score points just one by one up to normally to 11 points, first person to get 11. Um, You can play doubles or singles. You only score points in pickleball when your team are serving. And I'm seeing forehand, I'm seeing seeing a double-handed backhand go on over there. Oh yes, you can, uh, and a lot of people ask if you can put any sort of um, spin on the ball, and you can, so you can put top spin, you can put slice. And there's a slight variation into when you can and can't volley. Correct, so there's a, a line called the kitchen line, which is seven feet away from the net and a player cannot go and stand in that area and do a volley at the same time so they have to have their feet behind this kitchen line which makes the rallies go on for longer okay if i was to start playing pickleball what would be the shot that would win me the most games well you've got to get your serve in do we serve under or overarm it's always underarm right so it's a little bit easier if you if you tried tennis before and you found that the serve difficult pickleball quite a bit easier because it's all underarm for the serve. Sue Tolly and Michael De Groot, Fiona Edwards as well, explaining the game of pickleball to Paul Shuttleworth where the English Open has just ended at the Telford International Centre. 2,000 players 
descending on that wonderful venue. It's BBC Radio Shropshire Thursday morning on breakfast, coming up to 8 o'clock. From the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker, play BBC Radio Shropshire. And on your radio. The sound of where we live is BBC Radio Shropshire.